President, please be seated. The court is back in session, and the floor is given to the co-prosecutor to resume his line of questioning. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, um, we were talking about the events that took place in Tria Village. And I want to go uh, to the time where you were brought with uh, a group of uh, at least 40 other men uh, to uh, a house by the river. Um, when, you, when you and the 40 men uh, were taken to this house, uh, how many Khmer Rouge soldiers or cadres were at that house with you? My calm answer. I did not count them at that time. There were many of them below the house. Il y en avait beaucoup, ils étaient sous la maison. We were sleeping on the house Nous and there were dans la maison. Khmer Rouge soldiers Et les soldats Khmer Rouge uh, below the house. Là, sous la maison. There were at the time many houses and uh, I did not know at the time maisons, where uh, Jam people were Et from. Je ne pas there were 20, about 20 houses. Il y avait une de I want to talk about when you first Question. arrived at the house, when je you were first brought there. Um, were the Khmer Rouge Soldiers that were there, did they have guns? Les soldats Khmer Rouge qui étaient là, avaient-ils des armes, des fusils? Answer, they were all armed. For instance, if uh, there were 100 of them, all of them were armed. And was it when you were taken to that house uh, that you and the other men, the other 40 men, were asked whether you were Cham or Khmer? Quand on vous emmenait dans cette maison, si on vous a demandé à vous, les 40 autres hommes, si vous étiez des Cham ou des Khmer? They asked us after they tied all of us up, and we were uh, bitten at that time until they were satisfied with uh, their acts. And it was at uh, 7 p.m. that uh, we were told to climb up onto the house Doors and windows were locked, and uh, they were sleeping in the hammocks uh, below the house. Uh, there the were around maison, ten of them uh, guarding all of us. Qui la garde et nous when you were tied up Question. and asked whether you were Cham or Khmer, who, who was si it Cham that was asking you this question? question? Answer. They were military men and uh, they pointed their guns at our necks, so whether we were Khmer or Jam people. Some of us uh, mistakenly uh, said that uh, we were Khmer at the time and they uh, kicked us and we fell to the ground. After that, they uh, grabbed our hairs and bit us and kicked us again. Did they ask you any questions other than whether you were Cham or Khmer?
rester en main. So... Answer. There were no other questions. Il n'y avait pas d'autres questions. And after we were asked, we were put into that house. Et après qu'on nous ait posé la question, Everyone nous avons été dans les maisons. Everyone was tied up in that house. Tout le monde était ligoté dans la maison. And when you were taken question. to this house, uh, did you see people who were being held in other houses Quand next to yours? Quand on vous a mis dans cette maison, avez-vous vu s'il y avait des détenus dans d'autres maisons à côté de la vôtre? Answer yes. Réponse oui. I peep through the window. I could see them because the houses were close and adjacent to each other. Uh, jam people were full in those houses. Ces maisons étaient pleines de jam. How did you know that the people who were in the house houses next to you were also Cham? Because uh, we talk to one another that uh, you also came uh, to uh, the houses so they are they were all jammed did you recognize any of the other people uh, the other cham people who you saw uh, in other houses Answer. I did not know where uh, those Cham people were arrested Je ne from. Pas However, all I know is that uh, these Cham people were collected sais, from uh, different villages. And uh, Cham people were put in the Krochma district, and uh, some of them de were Krochma. further taken to. D'autres ont été emmenés plus loin, à Trier. You said that you were locked in this house uh, and uh, that uh, the guards and people then, the people around you went to sleep. Um, I want you to now, I want to go now to the morning, the next morning. Uh, can you tell the court uh, what happened to the Cham people who were being detained in these houses uh, the next morning when you got up. Answer, nothing happened the next morning. We were in that house for one day and one night and uh, the militia man told us that uh, they th uh, we would be uh, given the porridge to eat and we were waiting until the evening and in the evening there was no porridge for us and the militia man uh, lied to us uh, once again that uh, the porridge would come in soon. At that time, frankly, we had no water to drink and also no meal to eat. I want to make sure I understand correctly. Are you saying that after the, the, uh, you had arrived in Cham village, in uh, Tria village, um, that you spent the next day uh, locked up in that house uh, without receiving any food, uh, but nothing, uh, nothing other than that happened that first day. Is that correct?
Answer. No, we did not have Réponse. anything to eat non, and nous drink. Rien à manger, ni à and the day after, uh, we were still tied up and we were taken to the river front. At that time, I uh, untied uh, the rope and I uh, fled the house at the back door. During that night, during the second night, there were no soldiers below the house and during that time that I could uh, flee the house of, uh, through the uh, back door. I'll ask you, uh, I'll come back to what happened to your group and what happened to you when you were taken out that night. Before, before you were taken out of the house that night, did you see what was happening to other, the other tram people who had been gathered in Tria village? They were taken to the uh, river front. I noticed that uh, there was a big pit at the river front. People, jam people, were taken out of all houses uh, and placed at uh, the river front. Sur la rive. And what happened Question. to the people when they were taken out of the houses and brought to the riverfront? Witness, uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat your question? Je suis désolé, pouvez-vous répéter la question? Could you say it again? Pouvez-vous la répéter? Yes, my question is what question. Uh, was Nous done to the people uh, who were brought out to the riverfront? Je voulais savoir ce qui est arrivé aux gens qui ont été emmenés sur la rive. Answer. Réponse. Soldiers came to take all of them out to the riverfront. Thirty of them, and uh, one soldier was uh, responsible for one jam person. All jam people were taken out to the big grave of it. I saw uh, the iron bar with the size of my uh, lower arm uh, located at the pit or grave. Did you see people Question. being taken into the river? Answer. Réponse. After I could uh, manage to flee the Après house, I, I was staying uh, secretly close to the route where the soldiers were taking the jam people to the river front. It was lucky for me at the time that uh, the soldiers did not uh, notice my presence at uh, that uh, place. And what is it that you saw the soldiers doing with the people uh, in the river.
Answer. No screaming, no crying. Il n'y a pas eu de cris ou de pleurs. It was quiet. C'était très calme. And uh, after jam, people in the one house had been uh, yep. collected les, by les, those les soldiers. Uh, the soldiers would go to take uh, jam people at uh, from another house, and they maison, did this until chambre. all people. Left uh, that houses, those houses. I, I was secretly staying uh, in the bushes, Moi, the morning glory bushes, and I uh, watched uh, the incident until they completed uh, uh, the killing. Mr. Witness, did did you see? The soldiers, the Khmer Rouge soldiers, killing the people who were taken out of the houses? And if so, can you tell the court how they were killing the people who were taken out of the houses? Answer. I saw very clearly that uh, Jam people were being walked away to the river. Vers la, vers le fleuve. They blinded, they blind or folded uh, Jam people and uh, tied, uh, and they tied up uh, Jam people. Et ils les avaient attachés. And after Jam people reach uh, the river. They Lorsqu were told fleuve, to board uh, the motorboat, and they uh, drove uh, those jam people uh, to the river and uh, sink the boat into the river. They did this until they uh, completely uh, collected all jam people from houses. At night time, I maisons. could not uh, see what happened at that place. Le, la nuit tombée, je ne pouvais plus voir ce qui se passait. Mr. Witness, I want to uh, read to you an excerpt from Monsieur the interview you gave to Issa Osman. De que vous This avez is E3 slash 9334. E3-9334, Khmer 00204-436-437, through 437, English 00204-442-43, -4 and French 00274-724-225. Uh, this is what you said in that interview. Quote, voilà ce que vous avez dit. at about 7 o'clock, and you were talking about Vers the morning heures, in this passage, si vous du matin, I saw five or six Khmer Rouge cadres go up into a house nearby. They dragged nearby. out the prisoners, Il, uh, each tied up and blindfolded. I stared, watching them. Then I saw them walk the prisoners one by one to the river bank. A boat was anchored there, and there were about 30 prisoners waiting nearby. They undressed the prisoners down to their shorts and put them in a line. All the prisoners were men. They took a rope from the boat and ran it through the bonds of each prisoner from one Chacun to the next. Les des hommes. One end was tied donc, to the last prisoner in line, le bateau, and then they tied the other end to the stern of the boat. De then they took off the blindfolds. Un un. I was Puis, completely terrified as I watched ligne, the men, some crying, some screaming, bateau, as they fell to the ground and rolled as the boat pulled away toward the middle of the river. Hommes, At midstream, one Khmer Rouge loosened the end of the rope that was tied to the boat. Then the boat turned back to shore to Ensuite, repeat the Rouges process. We began to whisper to one another as we watched this. 
We knew our fates would be the same. The boat kept repeating this over and over throughout the entire day. And I have a number of things I want to ask you. The first thing I want to clarify with you, Mr. Witness, uh, did you see uh, people being dragged and drowned into the river while you were still in the house uh, in which you were being detained? Or did you only see that at nighttime after you had escaped from the house? Uh, yes, that is the, that that is what I saw oui, during the daytime. They jam people were undressed to their shorts. They were dragged out of the houses, blindfolded and tied up. This incident uh, repeat, repeated. Uh, until they completed their task. I did not know where a jam people was transferred from. During that incident, I saw what happened. I was crying together with other jam people, and I could manage to leave the house one day. There were piles of clothes, and uh, jam people were undressed to their shorts, and those remaining clothes were collected back, and uh, they were given to all of us. The house in which you were being uh, detained, how far was it from the river? It was about 50 meters away from the river bank. I could see what happened uh, very clearly. It was a my house was adjacent to another house, and I could uh, see the river and the boats uh, very clearly from my house. I le could uh, look through the crack of the wall. La maison, j'ai pu le voir par euh, une fissure dans le mur. Could, could you describe for us uh, what this Question. house was like uh, in which you were detained uh, and from which you saw what was going on at the riverfront? What, what kind of house was it? Can you describe? De quel type de maison s'agissait-il Réponse. Un ça. It was an old house. C'était une vieille maison. Ten, uh, 11 uh, meters long and uh, 6 meters wide, the house where I was detained. Was it a traditional country house that had um, stilts or piles so that the house was uh, elevated off the ground? It was a traditional house. It was elevated up from the ground. It was a steel house, but it was it was not high from the ground. We could reach the floor of the house with the, with our arms reaching to that floor. And you stated that you saw the boat 
that was dragging and drowning people in the river, repeating this throughout the day. Can you tell us how many times you saw uh, a boat take people out and drown them in the river? Answer. It happened from the morning until the evening. It started from 7 a.m. in the morning until the evening. I did not know uh, how many trips they came to collect Jam people. It happened uh, uh, repeatedly from the morning Mais until the evening, from 7 until the evening. De 7 du matin I was uh, sitting in the house or watching uh, what was happening. Et I was crying, I was uh, weeping, and I was thinking that uh, my feet uh, would be in the same uh, que la même way. Chose, uh, they were walking uh, past uh, my house, and I could uh, see Seng uh, was uh, walking past my house Seng at that time. Could you tell us uh, now uh, how it was that you managed to escape uh, from your house? Comment vous avez réussi à vous échapper de cette maison? Answer. Réponse. I fled from the house and Je me suis enfui. hit myself in the bush. Je me suis caché I dans les uh, was crawling Je toward uh, the uh, river. En direction du fleuve. I was crawl, crawling and I was uh, terrified, terrified at that time. Et j'avais très peur. When I uh, reached the the mosque, I when I reached uh, the riverfront, I could see Quand there were piles of clothes. At that time, I had a water a container, and I sank that container in the river so that the water would go into that container and I swam across the, the river to, uh, to Prachi. Prachi. I want to go back to um, the, the time that you were able to escape from the house before um, you went to the river and floated, swam down the river. How was it that you were able to get out of the house in which you were being detained without the soldiers seeing you? Can you tell us uh, how that happened? Réponse. Answer. At that time, uh, they were tie, tying up uh, the jam people. Au moment où ils attachaient les the house uh, was il, 11 meters long, and uh, while they were maison, tying up. Uh, the jam people, I fled to the house from the back door. Jam, they did not know at that time. During that night, it was, it had a heavy rain and the, the, nuit, the sky was uh, really dark and even with the lantern, they could not uh, see that I was escaping. Did you leave the house through a door 
or did you leave the house through a plank uh, on the floor? Plutôt par une planche, à même le sol. Une planche du sol. In fact, I plied a plank opened. It was uh, loose and it was just big enough uh, for my body physically to get out of the house. Nobody was aware that I could uh, go through that uh, hole Personne After ne savait I que the plank. j'étais passé par ce trou après que j'ai retiré la actually, planche. Uh, in France, the soldiers were tightening up the, Et the knots on à l'avant de la maison, les gens étaient en train de serrer les liens des prisonniers. Do I understand correctly then that you escaped through that plank at the time that the other people in your house were being uh, taken away? Is that correct? Et votre maison était saisie. Les gens étaient emmenés, votre maison était saisie. Que yo to le ahono de anu. Pa ne yo pi la ke took everyone out, but in fact, uh, about half of the people were already been taken out. When I could loosen the tie, then I plied the plan open, and I could escape. About 10 of the people on the house had been taken away already, and about 10 more remaining on the house. And you said that when you got out of the house and went down to the river, you saw a pile of clothes. Um, where is it exactly that you saw this clothes? And can you describe for us uh, what the size of this pile of clothes was? Actually, it was so dark during the night, I could not see the big pile. However, I could feel it, and I knew it was a pile of clothes of those people who were taken out from the village. People were stripped of their clothes near the waterfront, and there was a pile of it. And I did not know what happened to the owners of those clothes, as I only saw the clothes and not the people. This pile of clothes uh, that was by the river, how high was it? Do you remember uh, how high the pile was? Actually, the pile was about two meters wide, and the height was about half a meter. Or it could be up to uh, my waist. You've told us that you uh, went into the river to escape from Tria. Um, where did you end up uh, after uh, you swam away in the river? I actually uh, reached the other side of the river bank at Prechi. Uh, Actually, uh, I still had a, a cousin living in Prechi. And then I went to the house of Je my cousin, and it was not yet. 
at dawn, but I was so hungry, so actually I uh, ate uh, a raw corn from the plantation. By that time, I had not had anything to eat for two days. I want to uh, wrap up my questions so my colleagues have uh, uh, some time to ask you a few questions. Um, before I, I complete my questions, you talk about in your interviews of how after you survived um, the killings at Tria Village, uh, at the end of the Khmer Rouge period, uh, you returned back to Ampol village. Um, when you came back to Ampol village uh, at the end of the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, did you ever see again any of the Cham people who had been taken with you to Tria village that day? I actually went to Tree village by myself. Nobody was taking me there. And in fact, I arrived in Ampel village at, uh, by nightfall. And I hid myself in the house of my elder sibling. And nobody knew that I was there at the house. And uh, my elder sibling shared me the, the gruel. Mon frère ma soeur aîné donné and we kept uh, it very quiet because I was Nous afraid that I would be recaptured and uh, sent, it, sent back. Well, thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, I was asking you about uh, after the Khmer Rouge had been driven out of power. Um, but my question is, uh, did you ever see again uh, any of the Cham people uh, who had gone with you to Tria village and been detained in the houses there? Did you ever see any of those people again after the Khmer Rouge regime was over? No, I did not. And I did not recognize uh, the new faces. The last um, question I'd like to ask you before I turn it over to my colleagues, uh, your family members, uh, how many of your family members died during the Khmer Rouge regime uh, and who who was it? Um, uh, who from your family died during that period? In my uh, family, uh, I lost uh, two of my other siblings. Dans ma famille, j'ai perdu deux. That is uh, my uh, true, uh, my elder true brothers. C'est-à-dire mes deux frères aînés. And in fact, in my family, uh, there were only three uh, uh, boys, including myself, but my two other siblings had been uh, killed during uh, the regime. You've already told us that you never saw your wife and your youngest son again uh, after they had been taken with you to Tria village. Uh, what about your other child? You mentioned that you had two children at the start of the Khmer Rouge period. What, what happened to your other child? I conclude that my wife and my my child who was with her uh, died. 
However, I did not know the, how uh, they died. It was possible that uh, they were taken away and killed or they were drowned as it was taken at night time. Thank you for answering my questions, uh, Mr. Witness. I'll... My colleague has some questions for you. Thank you for, uh, for your time today. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone. In the interest of time, I only have three or four more questions uh, supplementary to what has been asked to the witness. President interrupts. You need to uh, consult with the lead co lawyers for the remaining time, as we only have about 20, less than 20 minutes left for the allotted time to the two teams. But, um, Mr. President, I think uh, the time is uh, manageable. Uh, Tisina only needs uh, about 10 minutes uh, to put questions to the uh, witness, and the co prosecutor can use the remaining time. President, you may proceed. Deputy co prosecutor, I have about five minutes, so let me go straight into my questions. Mr. Witness, you said you lived for a period of time in Prechi village. Did you ever see any young person who was forced to get married while you were living there? Answer, no, I did not. Réponse, non. Question. Question. Let me go back to the time of the arrival of the Southwest cadres. Among the new people, you were allowed to return to your home village of Ampel, and then you stayed there briefly, and then the commune chief uh, instructed you, as well as the uh, newcomers, to relocate to Trier village. Can you uh, tell the court how many newcomers uh, who were instructed to go and resettle in Trier village with you? Answer. There were about uh, 20 families from Ampel village and another 20 families from Soy village. And we were all sent together to Trier Village. Question. When you were instructed to go and resettle in Trier Village amongst other Cham people, did you uh, make any uh, request uh, to the uh, commune chief or the cadre in charge? President, uh, Mr. Witness, please uh, observe the microphone. Veuillez attendre que le microphone soit allumé. Answer. Réponse. It was Comrade Seng who uh, told us that uh, next day the newcomers had to be returned to Trier Village and that uh, we had to uh, organize ourselves to uh, start the journey the next day. We were not allowed to stay in Ampel Village any longer, and if we were to stay, they would deprive us of a gruel. Question. And did you uh, present Question. any request? Et avez-vous présenté une quelconque requête? Answer. Yes, I did. I Réponse. said oui. that I didn't want to go there. Dit que je ne pas aller but uh, I 
had no choice. I knew that I would be killed when we arrived in Trier village, but there was also no point staying behind because our food and gruel would be deprived. There was no alternative for us but to go. Question. So you knew beforehand that you would be killed when you arrived in Trier village. Am I correct? Answer. Yes, I did because a group had been sent there before us. They were told to go there to build houses, but they never returned. And then their families uh, were sent after and they disappeared too. For that reason, I didn't want to go, but I could not stay behind because the food would be deprived. Question. And while en route to Trier village, you said that uh, 20 families were traveling together with you. Was it 20 families or 40 families? Uh, that is, the families from another uh, village? Answer, it was a mixed uh, collection, a mixed uh, gathering from Ampel village and from Sai village. And I could say maybe there were about 40 families together from these two villages. I saw many uh, men while I was being sent there. Question. And while you were en route, did you observe any uh, security guards uh, patrolling along the road? Answer. No, uh, there was no guard. We were asked to make our journey by ourselves, and it was uh, Comrade Seng who traveled up and down, the monitoring us, uh, leaving the village. That is, uh, leaving on Pearl to Trier village. He was on his motorbike uh, observing uh, the procession that we uh, made. Question. Was Comrade saying armed with any kind of a weapon? The President interrupted. Uh, Mr. Witness, please observe the microphone. Witness, I uh, did not see any uh, weapon that he, he had. However, he, if he had a weapon under his uh, shirt, I would not uh, notice. But uh, people believe that uh, he believed in superstition and magic. Question. If there were no guards and you knew that there were about 40 families uh, traveling with you together and you knew beforehand that you would be killed when you arrived in Trier village, why didn't you decide to flee to other villages, namely to Eprayachi village? Answer. When we almost uh, arrived at the Trier village, we didn't want to go as we saw uh, many soldiers at the Trier village and it was too late to return our ox cart. And we didn't know where to go. If we were to, to go to the forest with the ox cart, we could not uh, make it. And by that time, some women uh, wept and cried as it was too late uh, to uh, return or to go back. Because by that time, we uh, reached the point of no return and we were told that uh, people were being uh, tied up and sent away every day. Question. You said uh, you stopped about half an hour before you entered uh, the tree village, am I correct? Answer. Yes. 
We stopped for about half an hour and we did not know uh, what to do. We allowed the cows to rest as well and the women started uh, crying. However, men still stayed on the ox cart. We did not know what to do. We knew that we would be taken and killed when we entered the village, but if we uh, return or we go back, it's too late. Question. I'm running out of time, Mr. President. Thank you. I'd like to cede the floor to the political lawyers. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone. And good afternoon, Mr. Atsei. My name is Tisrina. I'm a, a lawyer for civil parties. I have uh, uh, some questions to put to you. Let me go back a little bit to the time when you, the Cham people, were living in Pré-Akchi village. And uh, later on, you spent uh, two weeks Par living suite, in Ampel village. These are the two main focus of my uh, questions. Can you tell the court the living condition and the food uh, ration for you while you were living in these two respective villages? Answer. Before that, my elder sibling actually went to collect the gruel and then we distributed the gruel amongst us. Later on, my sibling had uh, dysentery while going to uh, collect the gruel and could not uh, uh, reach the location. Council uh, interrupts. Uh, Mr. Witness, allow me to refresh uh, my uh, question. My question is in relation to the living condition of the Cham people as well as the food uh, ration given to the Cham people. What was the living condition like? And what was the food alive? Was it abandoned? Was the living condition difficult while you were living in Prey-Achi village? Lorsque vous vous habitiez dans le village de Prey Achi, and so the situation was extremely difficult. La situation était extrêmement Three uh, kilos of uh, rice was given uh, to uh, people living in a house. We could not uh, cook any rice, but we instead cooked uh, gruel. We never had any luxury of having any cooked rice uh, from year on end. À manger. Question. And you were a Cham Muslim person. Did they respect you in giving you food? I mean, that they did not give you pork to eat? Or what was the condition like? And so the food was uh, prepared, mixed together. For example, uh, meat, pork meat was mixed uh, while they were preparing a food, and it was uh, given to us, uh, the Cham people. We were forced to eat. However, some of us uh, refused to eat, and we were giving some grains of salt instead. Question. You said uh, some of you were forced to eat the pork. What kind of uh, effect uh, did it have on uh, mentally on the Cham people while they were eating the pork? Mental and so, of course, it did have an impact upon us, but what could we do? Some of us uh, had to eat, and they threw up after, and they begged uh, for grains of salt instead of pork. And sometimes we had to hide the salt so that we could eat it during our meal time instead of uh, having uh, pork soup. Plutôt que de manger de la soupe de porc. 
questioned. Question. So, according to your religion, uh, the Cham people Donc, do not religion, eat meat. And uh, les Cham what happened to the Cham people viande, who, Cham? who were forced to eat the meat because that would be contradictory to the disciplines in your religion? Ce type de viande, alors que c'était contraire à votre Answer. religion. We worship the holy text of Quran and Allah Réponse. prohibited us not to eat Allah any dog meat or pork under any circumstances. These are the true meats that we are prohibited from si eating. C'est ce que nous respectons. Does provide any explanation for the prohibition or consumption of dog meat and pork? And sir. In the Holy Quran. Réponse. Allah prohibits us Dans from Coran, it consumed, from consuming dog meat and uh, pork. As for the rest pork. of uh, the meat, Pour les types we, de viande, are, we, we have a choice to eat. That's all I know. Question. Voilà ce que je sais. You have stated about uh, uh, some junk. Can you provide uh, an explanation to uh, what it meant to the court? Question. Vous avez parlé de Sam Jian. Pourriez-vous dire à la chambre ce que cela veut dire? Answer. In Réponse. the Holy uh, Quran, Allah uh, mentions uh, uh, Sam Jian. And we worship uh, the Holy Quran. Nous, Every Muslim has to worship uh, the Holy Text. Est tenu de and le texte it means that we pray by worshiping the Holy Quran. En respectant le Quran. Question. Do all the Cham people have to engage in the practice of uh, some jam, that is, uh, pray in English? Does some jam represent a symbolic uh, practice of pray of adherence to the Holy Quran by all Muslims? Answer. Uh, not every Muslim person uh, practices prayer through the Holy Quran, but for ordinary uh, Muslim, we all have to uh, practice samjam or to pray. Question. I'd like to put uh, a few more questions in relation to uh, your time at Tria uh, Village. What kinds of people were sent to Tria Village? Uh, were you considered uh, making mistakes so that you were sent to a Tria Village? And uh, no, we did not commit any mistake. We were simply uh, villagers. However, after we returned from Prachi Village, to our village, then we were instructed to, uh, to go to Tri village. And it was Singh, who was a southwest cadre, who told us that the uh, area had been liberated and that we could return to our whole village, but it was the policy of uh, Resending it further to Trier Village, as the area had been deliberated and the country enjoyed peace. So we were sent to Trier Village. Question. Question. And when you arrived in Trier Village, you said that uh, you were questioned and pure Cham people were put in one group and the half Cham, half Khmer were placed in another group. Were you 
Questions on other uh, issues besides uh, uh, on your sur sujets, ethnicity, part, uh, vos origi- votre ethnicity. Answer. Réponse. No. No. Because uh, those who were sent, they were all Cham. They were no Khmer people. Tous des chams, de Khmer. However, maybe they tested us Mais by asking us those questions whether we were half a Khmer or half Cham. Euh, However, they knew si that we were all pure Cham people. However, we were afraid that they would meet us if we said that we were Cham. So some of us told them that uh, they were Khmer, Donc, and it became even worse as they even beat us more. Et c'était encore pire qu'elles nous ont battu encore plus fort. Later on, you fled from Trier Village Question. and you survived. Ensuite, vous êtes enfui du Have you ever returned to Trier Village after the fall of the Khmer Rouge regime? De après la chute du régime Khmer Rouge? If that is the case, and as you said, uh, you saw a big pit in Trier village during the Khmer Rouge regime. And if you return to Trier village after the fall of the Khmer Rouge regime, have you observed whether there was only one single pit or there were many uh, more pits? Answer, no. I have non. not uh, returned to the uh, village. And from what people said, uh, we all know there was only one D'après large pit there with uh, many iron bars scattered uh, nearby. But personally, I never returned again. Je n'y suis Question. Question. Were you aware of the killing of the charmed women? Étiez-vous au courant de l'exécution de femmes cham? Answer: The wives were killed separately. The Réponse, the single unmarried uh, ladies were killed les separately. The husbands were killed separately. They killed. The Cham people in these uh, three uh, different uh, separate uh, groups. Ils ont tué ces trois groupes différents. The Cham. Ils ont tué en groupes différents. Have you heard about Question. an event where uh, Cham women was asked Avez-vous to lie down on a plank, d'un incident où facing une down, femme and then later on her throat was slashed and thrown de into the pit. À plat ventre sur une planche et ensuite and on lui a so, tranché la gorge the, et elle était jetée dans la fosse. I saw it. Réponse. Rather I heard it. J'en ai entendu parler. I heard parler. the sound of uh, plutôt, the killing. Je l'ai entendu. Of those people, but J'ai entendu I did le not son de cette it. exécution mais je ne l'ai pas vu. Council in the interest of time, I thank you very much for your response, and Mr. President, I'm grateful for the opportunity. President, the Chamber will adjourn now and resume tomorrow, that is Tuesday, 8 September 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning, where we will continue to hear testimony of witness at saying. Nous poursuivons plutôt avec la comparaison du témoin et de And uh, commence hearing testimony of a civil party et that is through TCCP 244. CCP. Mr. Atsain, the chamber is grateful de of your C4. time to testify before this chamber. However, it is not yet concluded, and you are invited to return to uh, resume your testimony tomorrow, starting from 9 o'clock in the morning. Court officer, in collaboration with Wesu, please make uh, arrangement for this witness, as well as the reserve civil party to TCCP 244, to the place where they stayed, and invite them to return to the courtroom tomorrow. Security personnel, you are to get ready to recuse. Tomorrow before 9 o'clock in the morning. The court is now adjourned.